gentlemen and everything in between, it is time. Game three of round one of the playoffs. We have to have a win here to advance to the next round. It is basically game seven, but we only play three game series, which is why it is game three. And we are not letting Gary Rahner take the mound. We're bringing in Holder Close to pitch game three. He will be pitching against... Chasey Kim, who's got some speed but not a lot of anything else, because we're going to let Harmony Strews play, and everybody else is going to stay the same as I'm ready to jump into the game. Let's get a W. So first up is Darcy Hicks. We are on the road. Is he starting us off with a nice single up the middle? Can he turn it around one and get to two? It looks like he's going to get there. A first pitch double for Darcy Hicks. It was a heater pretty well right down the middle. Let's see if we can bring him in. As it is like a dusty day here. Good Lord. Oh, my gosh. Can we maybe... Uh, I just struck out on three pitches. I'm terrible. Can we maybe get some lights on or something? Good Lord, it is dusty in here. Come on, Hobbs. 2-1 to Wade Hobbs. As that one's lifted into center field, and I think we're going to bring Darcy Hicks home. The throw to the plate is not in time. Already a 1-0 lead for your wide loads as Hackliner steps in. He's locked in. I didn't mean to swing at that, but it's fine. That's going to be a double play to end the inning. Shit. Dang it. Oh, well. We already got our run. We're already in the lead. Let's hope Calder Close can come out and be great. As first pitch is in there for a strike. Second pitch a little outside. We're not looking for perfection today, holder close, but anything close will be appreciated. Nice play, Friedman. Get the ball over to first, and he's out of there. A nice diving play from Janice Friedman. Puts two away in the inning. Azu, a good curveball from holder close there, taken for strike one. As that one's lifted into left, should be easy for Ella Royds as she camps underneath it. And we are heading to the second with a run one, one run lead, looking to build on it here. So let's see if Elroy's can get us started with a hit. That's more than a hit. That one's deep into center. Elroy's has done it again. She goes yard into center field, having an absolutely incredible playoff run. That one destroyed 448 feet, and it is out of here. As let's see if Janice Friedman can do the same. Friedman's hitting one into center as well. I don't know if this one has the distance, but it is way back, and it's gone too. Back-to-back -back jacks for the wide loads. Janice Friedman hits one for 19, and we have a 3-0 lead. What a shot from Friedman is in steps Harmony Struess. Could it be three in a row? 3-2 to Harmony. As though I swung way late, probably should have just let that one go. So I was honestly not uh, sure if I wanted to swing at it until it was already gone. But it's A-OK -okay as Fungo Akiro steps in now with a one out. So Holder Close came up to came up to bat as I once again forgot his name. It is not Holder Close, it is Holder Close. Which, you know, I mean it's the same word, it's the same spelling, same word, but um Hol Holder Close is a lot better than Holder Close. <laughs> But uh, four straight outs for him so far through this game as Anton Goodwin steps in. Let's see if we can get another one here. Is Okay, 2-0 and oh on two pretty good pitches as he takes that one for a strike. Ah, that's going to be a ball. Oh, and he swung at it. All right, cool. Two away in the inning. As there's a strikeout for Holder close as he sits down you. And we head into the third, still leading 3-0. We've been beating up Chasey Kim so far. As let's hope we can continue to do that here. So Kim walked Hicks on four straight pitches, and no. Chimo Gaspar steps in as that one may get down in center. Is just kidding. It's going to be caught, so Hicks will head back to first. As in comes big Wade Hobbs yet again. Already locked in. Let's see if he can do something here. Wade Hobbs just destroys one into center field right down the middle that one is way out of here 97 power on it it was right down broadway 491 feet maybe our farthest homer of the year 
That one is a no doubter. Because I thought we may have had our first 500 foot bomb, but just needed a little more on it. As oh, strike one to hack. As oh, he got me with that outside slider. As now O2 oh, to hack. Let's see if I can battle back here. As he's going to line out to the shortstop. Nothing hurt as Elleroyd steps in. The Overdogs led off this inning with a triple. So now runner on third, nobody out for Elroy action is uh my gosh, give us some calls here, Rump. It'd be nice to get a couple at the plate here. As uh Friedman makes a nice play. Can he get the out at one? He can't. And a run comes in. So now a five to one lead. As the pitcher steps in looking to bunt. So let's give him some uh some high stuff here. So maybe he'll pop it up. Oh, there's a steal as we got the 99 throw power. It was a strikeout from from Holder close nonetheless, but now a runner on second, so basically just might as well have been, just been a ground out. As I had the 99 throw power again, it just, Harmony Struces doesn't have the arm. Nice, we are able to turn two to end the inning. As we finally got some strike calls, so just one, one run through three innings from Holder close, which is totally fine by me as I keep swinging way late on these pitches. Basically, well, not swinging way late, I just decide way late. And then obviously I swing way late as I think Janice Friedman might have hit his second bomb of the game. That one's gone. Get out. We are destroying this pitcher right now. 416. His third homer in as many games. You love to see it. Let's go, Harmony. Holder close is hitting one into right field as that's gonna bloop in for a single. Love to see the pitcher getting a hit. As that will bring up Darcy Hicks here. So let's see if we can maybe get a two out rally. That one's high and it might go off the wall as it does right into the hands of you, but it will advance close to third. So now runners at the corners for Chimo Gaspar. Ball one to Chimo is, oh, there's an inside strike. One on one, Chimo, come on. I don't know why I moved my cursor right there, but it's fine. I did not swing at that. I did not take my hand off the button, but whatever. We still have a five-run lead, so we head into the bottom of the fourth. You got to be fucking shitting me. All right, cool. There's here comes the. Oh, we expected that pitch to come, so he hits it 900 feet. Is even then that one only went 387. What just happened? That was interesting. I don't know what just went wrong, went wrong with my TV. That guy hit it so hard that my TV glitched out. As uh, I don't, I don't know if you'll see any of that because I don't know if it's gonna make an awful sound. Um, but uh, yeah, that was a little weird. That was a little weird. Oh boy. Oh, there's strike three called. Why? Well, and he swung. Well, he swung obviously, but Struis loses it in the dirt. As uh, I don't see too many of those, but we will definitely take it. As I could have hit that one a freaking quarter mile as well, and I didn't swing the bat. So, oh boy, oh two. All right, Hobbs, choke up. That one's driven into center field as Hobbs is going to reach base, and it got past the center fielder. So he'll be standing on second because we're not going to test for third. I doubt he would have made it. Eh, maybe it probably would have been a close play, but we'll still take a leadoff double. As in comes Braun Thunderchump. Oh, boy. He's got, uh, got some pretty decent stats, and he's locked in, but he's not ready for hack liner. Oh, that one gets past the catcher. So Hobbs advances to third pretty easily. So now just a sack fly will do it from Hack Liner as it's 2-2. Two, two. Let's go. Oh, well, that's a pretty long sack fly, but that'll do it as, man, oh, man, we are destroying these overdogs pitchers here in game three. As I want to advance in the next round, but I didn't think it'd be this easy as that one is way out. As now here comes Ella Royds. Ella Royds actually drew a walk, which means Friedman is up. Oh, and no one, nobody out as I was just underneath that one. So he will pop up, no big deal, still only one on, one out. So let's see if Harmony Strauss can do something here. Yep, that's a single into center. There we go, first pitch single for Harmony. Love to see it. So one out, two on for Fungo Akiro. Akiro's driving one into center. As it doesn't have the distance, we are going to tag whoever that is. 
Well, that's Ella Royds from second to third. So now two on, runner at the corners for Holder Close, as uh, that's his specialist thing coming into play. That one's driven into center, but not enough. There's a strikeout from Holder Close as he sits down Elroy Action looking on the inside two seam. As now here comes, was this Casper Stern? All right. So Close got through the fifth pretty easily as now Darcy Hicks comes in to lead off the sixth for us. Braun Thumper, Thunder Chump still on the hill as that is out number one is Darcy Hicks. Lines out to action is now Thunder Chump up to the plate. We are absolutely crushing this team. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is like, oh my god. I'm playing, uh, started the fifth, the bottom of the fifth with holder closed. Like, it's like two days later than what I originally recorded this. I had to con continue as uh, no videos got posted Thursday. Oh my god, I'm struggling right now because I lost my power cord to my Xbox. So that's fun. Um, but we should be back on track for Friday. I think this video will get posted a little later in the day, but that's a-okay. So hold her close. Breezes through the sixth as well. As I was, so I don't think we're going to pitch him for the seventh. He's a little, uh, a little tired as I should have probably destroyed that thing with Hackliner. But it's a-okay. But yeah, hold her close. Definitely pitched a beauty today. Got the quality start. Went six innings, allowing less than three runs. As I wish I would swing the bat. There we go. There's a double for Hackliner. Keep her rolling, baby. Go all the way to the wall. Not quite, but he's easily in there with a double. Stand up for Hackliner. Let's see if we can add on here in the seventh. Janice Freeman sitting one deep into center. Because that is not going to get down, but Hackliner is going to be able to tag. So now runner on third and two outs for Harmony Struess. So let's see if she can get a big hit here. That one is going to get down in the alley in left center as Harmony Strew should have herself a double as well. As that one scores, Hackliner, Harmony continues to impress at the plate as, man, she barely got in there. So now Fungo Akira is up, 0 for 3 on the day, but looking to make a big impact here. Zoo, that one was hit really well, but just foul. As that one is going to get past Ore action. Azu Harmony head back to head back to third. So that is a single for Fungo as we are gonna sub out Holder Close for Masha as this brings Masha Dong into a pretty good position here for an RBI. Uh, as I don't think that's gonna do it. Dang it, got a little too antsy. Should have swung at the first pitch. But it's okay. So it looks like it's gonna have to be Bale Bowser to pitch the uh, to pitch the seventh and eighth here. So that's a okay that he missed that because he can still throw the guy out at first. So I like to get through these uh, this inning or these innings relatively quickly with uh, with Bale Bowser. Don't really want to waste much of his stamina if we don't have to. As I don't know why that I don't I wanted to be Chimo there so I could maybe dive and catch that, but it's fine. So just one hit in the seventh for Bale Bowser, but still a relatively easy inning. So here comes Darcy Hicks to lead off the seventh. As 0-2 to Darcy, or 2-0 to Darcy Higgs. Oh, it's just underneath it. Man, oh man. There's a strikeout for Bale Bosner as he sits down Elroy Action looking. So I believe that's Elroy Action's second backwards K of the day. So let's see if, oh gosh, let's see if Bale can keep wheeling and dealing here. So it's two, oh my gosh, I can't hit a spot now, right? As I said, that is, ooh, that one got in there for a strike. That's not a good pitch. Oh, but it's going to be an out for us. Get there, Darcy. Okay, I'm an idiot. Wow. I really hope this doesn't turn into a hit now, because that was a what should have been an easy out. Is Oh, my gosh, it did. Gosh dang it, I feel like an idiot now that I just whiffed on that. Freaking easy catch out of play. Two on and one out now for Bale Bowser after another hit, as we uh really doesn't really matter how, uh, you know, if they score too many runs here, because we're up seven, so I'm not too worried, but still don't want to, you know, be letting them have any sort of a chance, is how, oh, how did homie just hit an outside slider opposite way, is that's going to bring in two runs, that is not good at all, oh boy, nine to four now, that is now the big hitter, uh, sad, 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 sack to song, that's his name, good lord. On oh, and and Bale is tense. That's not good. As I get there, Friedman. Nice, okay. One more out in the inning, and we're fine. 
So Bale did end up getting out of it. A pretty uh, pretty weak fly ball to oh to Fungo Akiro. Ended the inning as we're into the ninth. Still up five runs, doing a okay as Hackliners in a one one count. Ooh, here with Dave Diggler. It's all right. Let's go hack. Just definitely got some some heat. As honest, I did not realize it was two strikes. Or else I would have swung at that, but. That's what I get for not paying much attention. So let's go, Ella. Ella Royds is blasting one into right field. That has a chance to go off the wall. Azu Stern just caught it on the warning track. As now Friedman steps in. His eye oh, should have swung at that. Should have waited a little longer for a better pitch, but oh well. I'm just ready for the next round. As I think, yeah, I think we're gonna let Rogan Rogan come in to close it out. I was doing really well with Rogan up until that last batter as I had a cut fastball just get a little bit too much of the zone. And she hit it into the outfield for a double. Because let's see if we can get Elroy action here to end the game. As, oh, it's 3-1 hit the zone, Rogan. That's a really good pitch, and he's going to get it called for strike two. Can we end the game on this curveball? He's out of there, Elroy action. Gets punched out by Rogan Balls, and we are headed to the next round. You love to see it. Dingers on the day from Hobbs, Liner, and Roids, and two for Janice Friedman. Oh, what a day. Hits from dang near everybody. Pitching was pretty good. Holder close had an incredible game. Just three hits and a walk and four strikeouts through six innings. Bale Bozer got beat up a little bit, but it's fine. And then Rogan came in and closed us out. As we are headed to the next round, baby. Love to see it. As let's see who we are going to be playing. We'll be playing the Nemesis in the next round as they beat the one-seeded Heaters in three. As the Blowfish already have a one-game lead over the Wild Pigs. As sadly, Gary Rahner is going to have to pitch that next game. As we're going up against Stamp Word, who doesn't look too terribly great. But then we'll be playing their ace in the next game. As uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one for sure in the next round. But uh, nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed Wide Loads Playoffs, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll be sure to see all you guys in the next video. Bye bye.